Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Are we ready, boys? Are we all ready? Extremely so. The readiest. So we got some new dances across the board. We've got the viaduct. What do we call that? Gent dance? No, that's oh, this, uh, Connor I'm, McGregor. That's, this is Orange Justice, man. Oh, you're Orange Justice. Yeah, Dan is the Connor yeah. McGregor. Is it Connor McGregor? Yeah. Like you when he walks up in the club? No, that's like <laughs> when he gets into the ring, that's what he does to like get the blood flowing and limber up. Ah. Mm, that's what you look like in round 11 against Floyd Mayweather, too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it. I know nothing about boxing. Wow. <laughs> he got that's freaking shot. Cool, yeah. Hey, have we ever done the Carlton dance in this game? Was that yes. earlier? Oh, I need that. Yeah. All right, how many wins are we guaranteeing, boys? Three. <sighs> three guaranteed for the whole night or for Well, this three is guaranteed. We can, <laughs> we can get more than three. Hey, you guys want to uh, land somewhere dicey and then get a free battle pass here and then we can loot? <laughs> if you land on yellow, mm -hmm. it's free skins. Really? Free skins? Free, well, free skins on yellow. If, if that's your next level of battle pass, free skins. Oh, that's a little wow. misleading. Well, I don't know. It's, it's either that or you could do 500 damage with a suppressed weapon. So it's really <laughs> it's up to you. Oh, wait. I gotta, so, we got to do the kills in Tomatus Town. Also ah, true. Tomatitan. I did that earlier. Me too. So just to catch everyone up, uh, Ryan's made a ergonomic purchase. You care to share any details about that? <laughs> I purchased the Herman Miller Aeron chair. I've heard good things about that guy, Herman. Thank you for not <laughs> making fun of my chair. No. And then Dan asked me why I didn't just buy a $60 one off the floor of Business <laughs> Depot. If, if you Google the chair that Ryan got, it looks like the same ones you get at, at office. Yeah, you know, you always hear you talking to chiropractors. They're like, oh, your back hurts? Why don't you just buy a chair that looks like it's a, part of a spaceship? <laughs> it's the human the human spine was meant to sit in something that looks like it's from the deck of the USS Enterprise. Well, let me ask this. How did you know that was the chair? I sat in it, and I was like, this is pretty good. And then I sat in the one next to it, and I was like, eh, this one's, like, not quite as good. And then I sat in the one next to that, and I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah, but and some people think that chiropractors are a scam. They go to medical school. So do dentists. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Guess what I've got? Oh, oh no. no! Don't tear him! Don't tear him! No, no, don't, don't tear him! Don't tear him! He's I gonna do it. it! He's done it! Oh! Yo, Justin, yeah. you were stacked. I had everything. Okay, that was stupid. We should not land for challenges. Oh, that headshot though. Tear him! Oh no! Did I tear him? Did I get him? No, you gotta get him. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh. <laughs> Let's go warm up. All right, Wait. yeah, disregard anything I say about dropping. Let's drop Anarchy. No, okay. The one thing is, I, I want to remember that we should not drop Anarchy every single time. I like Anarchy, but I think it's I like... I would say like 80% of the time. Yeah. 80% <laughs> Anarchy, 5% Snobby, 5% Fatal. That sounds like... Good, Three percent lucky. Are you? I like how you... when someone's still in the game now, it turns yeah. into like this weird hologram. Yeah, it's the hologram of shame. Oh shit. So, right, what do you guys think about chiropractors? I think they uh, are. I think they are real. I went to a chiropractor once, and he mm. made my back better. So, so I don't think that was fake at all. When we were in like the neighborhood where the furniture store was today. There was a sign, and it was like, you're just nine steps away from that ooh-ah chiropractor feeling. And I was like, do people just do that? They just, like, walk in and then go, hey, I saw the sign. Can you fix my back? It's not like a situation where you you make an appointment or something. <laughs> so so here's my my conundrum. I'm, mm. I'm not discrediting chiropractors, but if you go to a doctor isn't the object to cure whatever ailment you have right yeah well, but I mean, it's bad for business for them <laughs> but <laughs> is medicine a business or is medicine a universal right depends what country you live in oh, wow. <laughs> Fair answer. 
So my Definitely question is, is for us. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, if you got to keep going back to the Cairo, isn't he holding back a little bit of that it's, juicy info? Exactly. Uh, that's uh, that. I'm just playing devil's a. That's it. That's that's extremely free thinking of you. <laughs> As in, <laughs> ignorant of the science and evidence, but. Well, I'm just, I'm not a dissenting saying, opinion I'm, from the masses for sure. I'm just saying, if you got to keep going back, is it really fixed? Mm -hmm. Or is it like your body is like a car? You got to change that oil every three months. I think it's more like that. Okay. I was just, I was just presenting a, an opinion to use Justin's uh, blowtorch on. You know what I, the <laughs> one that I'm not sure. Uh, I believe, and I've been, every time I'm skeptical about it, people are like, nah, you, you just don't understand, is osteopaths. Because um, an osteopath is like a combination of a, a masseuse and also like a holistic healer of some sort. And like my mom goes to one on occasion because it's covered by benefits, which is where I start to go, really? We're paying for people to go to the osteopath? <laughs> but you got against osties. Well, it's like... My mom would get a, like, basically a massage, and then while getting the massage, the osteopath would be like, oh, you got some, like, childhood trauma located in this muscle. <laughs> and then you're like, eh, that doesn't sound medical. Yeah. Maybe and she's I, I talking mean, about the trauma you inflicted upon your mom while you were a child. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's what I was going to say. I had, I had to slide that one no, in. No, it was good. I like it. There was a good window on that one. And I, uh, I had a friend who did, I, I, I always just called it like physical therapy, but mm. I, I think that was the fancy name he attached to it. Yeah. But like, Austin. I remember him, I remember him telling me once, it was like a very harrowing, like horrible story about a client of his. And as he's telling it, I'm thinking he's telling me like, like this just happened and like, this is a horrible thing. And I'm like, even wondering like, man, why are you telling me this? And then he's like, yeah. And then, you know, like, you know, through, through the manipulation of my hands, I healed it. <laughs> I'm like, what? He healed what? He's like the emotional pain. I felt it and I healed it. I'm like, you didn't, you can't feel emotional pain with your hands. I'm sorry. No, Justin, yeah. in your backyard, there's a Jonathan. I, I found a boy in this house. And I'm going to go put an end to his. All right, I'm heading towards. Uh, He's in the room near you. I found him. It wasn't Jonathan, though. It was a different boy. Oh, maybe it's a, a Jonathan-esque skin. Did he insta? Uh, it was not insta. He was down. Oh, I'm on. I got hit. Oh, I, th I think, you know. Oh, yeah. let's. They are both right there. Stay alive, stay alive, style. Two of them on that ramp, yeah. No, save me. The one is really weak, critical. Oh, oh no. I had to fire the squad. They're actually not good, but. I don't think he saw me. <laughs> yeah, the one is critical, Dan. He's uh, healing oh, right one's now. One's drinking, yeah. Uh, was he near Justin? He's on right the ramp. There, the ramp's right there. Behind you. Right behind you. <laughs> right behind you. Right behind you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is <a> man. <laughs> he said he's on the ramp right behind you. I'm like, I didn't get off on the right. Well, you button. walked by him, so he was behind <laughs> you at that. <laughs> Can yeah. I acquiesce to the skin change? Hmm. To what? Uh, viewer's choice. Who the heck is this? Who's this guy? That's uh, supposed to be Thor, but it's kind of terrible. Snake Yikes. Plissken. Real quick, I don't want to go go deep into the lore, but who has seen Infinity War? I have seen it. I have Just. not. Just. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, me and me and Justin. I'm actually the more and more I see like, and I'm not gonna ask what it is, uh -huh. but the more and more I see like, I saw a picture yeah, of yeah. LeBron James and <laughs> two Toronto Raptors I and hate. they're like pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't under like. I guess I get the. Yeah, I've seen I just some don't want to know who's pixelated. You know? Well, you know, like. It's hard to find a showing for it right now because it's only showing <laughs> on every screen about 11 times a day. So if you manage to find a time, definitely jump at it. <laughs> Yo, Melv, I watched Whiplash per your recommendation. Ooh. What did you think? Top 50 movie, easy. Great of all film. time? Of all time, yeah. It was, that's why I watched it. It was like Dang. IMDb was like in the top 50. There you what go. movie is this? Whiplash. Quiplash. Whiplash. Never seen Quiplash. Yeah. Cool. And now I know who J.K. <laughs> Rowling adapted it into a movie. 
<laughs> J.K. Rowling's I thought wrote uh, the Harry Potter books, but now I know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. He's an incredible actor. He is very good. He's a great actor. Who wrote Harry Potter? J.K. Rowling. <laughs> no, are you being serious? Yeah, You're it's J.K. Of... Simmons is in the movie. Yeah, oh. it stands for uh, for just kidding. That's the yeah. Thing that for. <laughs> yeah. Justin, what's your middle name? Uh, hmm, is that sensitive information? See, I would. If you have to ask, if you have to ask, then it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's Robert. Oh, oh that's a no. good middle name. It is. Justin Robert Alpaca Patrol. That's mm -hmm. I was gonna say HC Robert Justin. <laughs> Melf catfished me like a month ago. He told me Sinvicta's first name was Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> the best him. part is somebody put that in his like Wikitubi or whatever the heck it is. <laughs> I love it so much. It's, it doesn't seem like a Jerry to me. No, but that's why it fits. Oh that's, that's why it fits. <laughs> but, well, I guess it's not appropriate but, to ask you his first name, but I don't know his first name, but let's pretend that it is Jerry. <laughs> yeah, as far as we know. I mean, it could be. It's Jerry now. <clears throat> yeah, or Jeremy. I could see it being a Jeremy, and he yeah. might be speaking. <laughs> you know it, dude. You know it. <laughs> so, what have you guys been up to the past week? I haven't really dialed in with you guys. You watched it. I don't know that, that Orange Justice Dance. <laughs> so what, so you crank some solo games in? Is that what you do? Yeah. When do you no normally play? Like when you got to turn your mind off? Oh, I, I don't know. You make it sound like a little dramatic, but you know, <laughs> what? like yeah. what's dramatic? You, usually, about? like maybe around like eleven or midnight PST. When you shut down the real mic, you shut it down for the night. Yeah, exactly. I think. <laughs> oh, let's go. Uh, I got a uh, cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. Boogie bomb? Oh, what do we call them? Starbies. <gasps> oh, Portafort. Yeah. Why didn't you say oh. so? <laughs> Yo, you should, you should toss it if you haven't tossed one. It's a challenge. I mean, see, here's how I view you, this. You can toss it in battle. You can toss it in battle. Yeah. I view this as a, as a team. I, the only thing I care about is team unity, acquiescent wins. You know? The thing is, well, I... You know, I, I agree with you, but you should hold it. Yeah, I've got, you, should, oh. you should be the one to toss it. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I, I got a lot of little sips here, and I want to give them away. I have a little sip to give away, too. I I am going to be uh, trying to use a Rick Grimes because I need two pistol pills. <laughs> Same. <laughs> That's fair. If you don't get them in the early game, you're pretty much screwed. I got the yeah. same thing, though. I need, I need to do 500 damage with suppressed weapons. So I'm like, maybe if you knock somebody, just throw throw your boy a bone here, and I'll just riddle them with bullets. There you go. Thanks for that, Justin. By the way. No problem. So Justin, you made a gnomish uh, bard <laughs> as your character. Yeah, this shouldn't be spoilers. Oh, I had that never mind. Out in time. No, it's fine. Oh. So Justin D acquiesced a few episodes last week because he's making a D and D character in Minecraft. Is that right? No, it's nothing to do with mine. It's a tabletop simulator, oh. actually. And we also have proprietary software for live animations. <laughs> Whoa! Who made that? Uh, we had a guy make it. That's actually sick. It's really cool. <laughs> like, we each have a puppet that we can control and, like, manipulate the mouth movements, expressions, and all that. And it's all that's on the good. go. And that's overlaid over tabletop soon. Wow. You think you are Jim Henson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does your guy look like? I haven't made him yet. I have oh, to, I have to work on that last week. week just left us in the dust. <laughs> well, I've, I've got like the characters like spells and traits and stuff, but I gotta I gotta figure out what he looks like. Mm. I gotta can get I help a name. You? Yeah. <laughs> can you name can, can you name him David? David, I absolutely can. What about Jerry? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also work. Could it be Jerry David? <laughs> so <laughs> like curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's all. It's a gnome. It's a gnome-ish assassin. Oh. I need to care package. I, so. I need got to figure out his, his his you know attitude. Everything. <laughs> Make him a, woman a womanizer. Yeah, a womanizer. I could do that. But he's gay. 
Oh. Nobody's explored the idea of a <laughs> yeah. gay womanizer yet. So good. Uh, when uh, when Rumble Muffin and, and Wolf were up in, in Toronto, we played some D&D. &D and... Austin? Huh? Different wolf. wolf. Oh. Different wolf. This is uh, an actual wolf. <laughs> and uh oh the fur kind guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah he's and... not gonna like that i said yes but for the purposes of identifying him to you he is the fur con guy but the the entire time i just kept on hitting on um rumble's character <laughs> it's very good yeah. a long time ago i was once the backup bassist in a friend's ska band uh, i mm. see guys just this and uh thing. where at um, south of you yeah, I saw a tree. Yeah, trees getting destroyed. Okay. It's Wait, you were a mustard uh... plug? No, I've seen them many times, though. Really? Yeah. yeah. Bowling for Elf. soup? I had a friend playing saxophone for a bit, too. Elf, are you pistol shooting this guy? I gotta get the three <laughs> the three hits. I believe him. He's just solo. I don't, I don't see anybody with him. Yeah, keep suppressing Yeah, at the him. brick buildings. He's very, yeah, he's on the metal now. I think he's almost out of stuff. Oh yeah, he's on he's on shields. Yeah, just hit him for blue. Yeah, Dude, long story short, get, like, new glasses to see this guy. <laughs> oh no, he's hit me. He's so sneaky. He's hit for white now. Go do it, Mal, with the pistol. I believe in you. He's so low. I knocked him. Just. Thank you. Destroy him with that pistol. I, I hope it counts. It won't count if he didn't get the knife. No! Yeah. Pick him up first and then... <laughs> <laughs> Can you res an enemy? No. Oh, that'd, be really good. that'd be sick though, right? Yeah, I would love it. <laughs> I, would, I would always <laughs> fake res everyone. <laughs> yeah, take, take him back to like nine seconds and then sit him down again. Even just full res him and then just shoot them again. That'd be great. <laughs> I would just sit there doing that until some games ended for sure. <laughs> oh. Ooh, little, yeah, long story short, with the backup Scott Band basis, uh, they played a they played a furry convention. <laughs> oh, hey! And they had originally tapped me. They were like, "Hey, you're going to play bass of this," and I was like, "Hell, fucking yeah, I'll play bass of this. <laughs> it's going to be interesting." And then uh, their their real bassist was able to make it, and I was very sad. <laughs> what was the name of the band? Uh that band was called Nix Eighty Six. Hey. Ooh, Nix. Nix. That sounds like N -N a, a radio but, station. Uh, Welcome to Nick's 86 FM. It was like a super group of like late 90s Long Island ska band guys. It was a Long fun Island ska? What, what, what's the difference? Oh. Yeah, no true difference. Just just a fact of the matter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Mel? Yeah. Oh. oh! Don't touch it. Ooh. Oh, you're doing it. You're fine. You've done it. I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Oh, I fell on your staircase. <laughs> That's what you get. It is what I get, actually. Mel, if you ever think about moving outside of the city, uh, like if, some, some like Mississauga. No, if if I were to move out of Toronto, it would just like anybody want to be a bush boy. By the way, Dan, you I can have know. the this uh, mini. Yeah, I'll, I'll give up my minis. I just have oh, a yeah. stack, so I figured I would. Uh, I would. Or hold anybody can place. have it. I, I'm not taking it. Oh, you meant mini? I, I, oh, I thought you meant mini. I thought you meant like a little sippy. Yeah, 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 there's little sippies for you guys. I need a little sip. I guess for Dan. Yeah, you can grab that one. I'm good on the sips. I see. Well, I thought I saw some building 140 behind those trees. This is lame as hell, but I don't want to take the minigun, even though it's better, because I need to do damage with suppressed weapons. Dan, you take. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm going to. Here's 100. I need, I need uh, little bullets. There's 100 right there. I, uh, yeah. Ryan just picked them up, but. Well, I, I just do... dropped. Uh, I got 60 tiny little bullets right here. There you go. I dropped uh, another sixty something. I mean, if you want me to lay down the I was so you can pistol kill him. I was joking. <laughs> um, there you go, there a you little. Go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I would never. It's not like a diss against Mississauga or Scarborough or anything, but like, I'm Scar gonna live in the city. I'm gonna live in Toronto, or I'm gonna live literally isolated in the woods. I'm gonna build my <laughs> little cabin. But um, I saw some beautiful houses today that were like incredibly laughably cheap but it was one of those like man if i could afford that kind of a house i would rather buy a smaller house somewhere that isn't terrible <laughs> you know <laughs> like i've been i've been in that mindset now where like I, I i would love to buy a house in the next few years i just have what's no idea what's terrible about where you live uh it's honestly it's so it's nice and quiet and peaceful that's the positives which is nice yeah. cause i've never had that but it's just very dull 
everything closes at like 10 p.m. if not earlier. I tried well, to go to a Thai restaurant world. the other day. I, I pull up to the place, I go up to the door, and they go, we're closing soon. And it's about 2 in the afternoon. <laughs> and I look at the door, and the hours were literally until 2.45 p.m. on a Monday. <laughs> and I, I'm still, I have no idea what to make of it. What? It was a restaurant? It's yeah, like an office a sit-down Thai restaurant thing. that closes um, on a Monday at 2.45 p.m. Well, I mean, it's obviously not all restaurants, but I've Generally, if a restaurant's like take a day off, it's usually Mondays. Like Monday, Mondays. So yeah. they'll they'll shut down. They'll like restock, do whatever the heck they have to do. Like Mondays. Um, I find it so like what confuses me is like I mean I've never I've actually never had Thai food before. Oh, I'm excited what? to try it. Oh, but it never struck me as like a breakfast food. Uh, <laughs> no, no. So why are they like opening the for breakfast? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, uh, Dan and I were talking about Thai food in our little mega baseball. The one place I go to has the uh, a nice lemongrass chicken. So Ooh. good, so good. Pad prick. <laughs> oh, a building right to one seventy at this house. One seventy. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Building one seventy right at this house. Oh, yeah, I they're, see they're, they're are we, are we opening fire? Or do you want me to oh, stop yeah. you the roof? Uh, stop you on the roof. I'm getting in close on this boy. He's inside. There are a lot inside. Ah, oh, the scar guys hit for nothing. Uh, he boosted the one. There's a guy hiding out solo away from us, uh, west in that little the attic of the west building. Got nice. this guy. I think we're surrounded here, boys. Oh, I see the one, yeah. uh, yeah. I gotta throw the port fort Do it, do it, do it. Careful, there's two up there, Mal. Oh, okay. One's in the attic. To the right. Oh, oh the one guy I killed the down. One. Thank you, thank you. So there's two dudes. Oh, no, I got greedy. He, he, he saw me here. Where's he at, Mel? They're west. Two of them are west. This is the worst spot to throw it, but I panicked. <laughs> all I could think of, was, yeah, all I could think of was challenge. They're gonna have to move in from that too. So if you get like on top of this house by me, why don't we just build up a little bit? When you said west, like uh, west like... at that at that house that's just about to get swallowed up, or yeah. shack. Uh, or they're, they're moving. They're moving two oh eight. Yeah, one. Okay. That guy's gonna be swallowed up. Stay strong, mouth. I'm good. I still got 60. I'm gonna uh... sup him. I got one well, one tap away, so I need suppressed fire on this guy. Oh, one's near me. He's on the ramp. He's on uh, top of this building. Dang it! I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, that guy on the right is just taking. Okay, one's running up on the ground. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no. dude, there was 10 <laughs> left. Oh my god. Yes, that's correct. I'm sad that I blasted a guy with the pumpy and all I did was take away all his shields and some of his health and then he killed me. Sad I got greedy at the end looking for health. It hurts bad. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Also, great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.